they're in a boat with a number of divine personages. It's that boat that will eventually take the king in different forms of that boat that will take the king through the 12 stages or the 12 hours of the night. The symbolism of a boat on the water demonstrates the consciousness being led through our mysterious interaction with the flow of time, through the landscape of the duet. Through the hours of the night towards its conclusion, a new dawn and a new day. Here, the constant flow of time is symbolized as a river which gently, inexorably leads the inhabitants of the boat through the stages of transformation. The, the Christian conception of hell with all its demons and its hell fire is in all likelihood derived from the, from the Egyptian but the Egyptian didn't go into, didn't revel in all the details of the smell of the roasting flesh and the pain of the hacked bodies. Rather, they were expressing, basically what the Egyptians were doing was, was, say, was declaring that the souls of those who hadn't done their inner work or who obstructed those who were trying to do their inner work ended up in oblivion. In other words, their names, their identities were obliterated. They weren't consigned to the roasting flames of hell forever, but rather non-existence was considered punishment enough. In the fourth hour, the actual coffin is shown descending into the earth, a schematic that actually represents the tombs themselves. See the coffin in red, the larval 